but I think after the show, I got to consider whether I want to have kids at such an early age or, you know, like have some time. Hi, Asia One 的朋友，大家好，我是 Jack Neo 梁志强。Hello, Asia One， 你们好，我是 Glenn Yong 荣启航。第一集呢是在二十一年前啊、哦，那么，嗯，二十一年来，我觉得新加坡的教育体系啊，已经是变化很大。我们从呢，呃，关注呃孩子的学术成绩，到后来呢，我们现在啊，我们已经是呃非常重视呢小孩子的其他的才艺，也了解到说小孩子呢不一定是读书厉害。他才是一个有用的人。他其实呢，在这个社会本来就是需要呢各种不同能力的人。所以这个这部电影里面呢，呃，我们呢也会在探讨这样的一个问题，尤其是还在关注呃学术成绩的家长，那么他其实呢给孩子带来怎么样的一些痛苦？我想这些呢都是呃很值得探讨的。嗯。I think that was back in 06 or 07. Yeah, so at the point of time I was in primary school, uh, it was streaming year. And of course the movie is about EM2, EM1, EM3. So for myself, I'm actually an EM3 student. Prior to... Ah, EM3. Ah, was it EM3? Oh yeah. So when I watched the show, it was how like the kids were ostracized because they were in the lower stream foundation class, right? So it really related to me a lot. Probably that's why I cried because like it shows how like the parents and the kids, you know, how they relate with one another, how results mean meant a lot to the parents. But to the kids, all they want is for the parents to believe in them and find the strength that they have rather than just on academic itself. So when I watched the movie, obviously that touched me, I cried. And I had a thought that, you know, hey, it would be cool if one day I become an actor. It's really incredible because right now I'm part of the iconic series, the third one, and we are part of a journey to impact another generation of young people through the movie. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, my secondary school days isn't too far apart. I would say like around nine years uh, from now. So my school life is still really vivid to me. And I will remember the younger teachers are the ones that I could really connect with the most because I feel like they actually make more effort to connect with the students, to listen to our worries, our dreams. So I think from that experience myself, I draw from them how they related to us as a student and as a teacher. And then of course, uh, after knowing that I got casted for the show, I called my secondary school teachers and my primary school teachers. I told them, hey, please introduce me to the young teachers in school right now. And uh, I want to know more what, what is the culture like, you know, what is the teaching style like? So I actually met up with a couple of the teachers who are around my age. And interestingly enough, their experiences actually correlates with our script of the show. Yeah, it's exactly the same, you know. Like what we are showing right now is the same thing that the younger teachers face in their schools, in primary school or secondary school. So I honestly think that this movie, you know, it will not just touch the young people, but also people in the education sector. When they watch this show, they will be able to relate with it. <laughs> I think these kids are really fun. I really like these kids. So I have four kids. So when I see my kids grow up, they are not able to enjoy their cute kids. So I think when they come back, they are very cute. You can see that many kids are very cute. You can see that they are very cute. And then they will give you all kinds of answers. They will make you go crazy. We all like these kids. But they will make you laugh. Because they are very cute. 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 这样的，我我们常常都会这样子做。哎，他们他们他们啊、哦，突然间吓到，他们也忘记他们啊在拍戏。所以我定呃，小朋友其实就是这个样子。After the first week of filming, I realized I'm actually not good with、uh, students. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought that like you know my age is closer to them, I'll be able to you know speak with them more. But because the kids they have so many questions, sometimes you you just want to have like your own time, right? But they're always Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, Lee 老师 So it almost feels like there's zero like me time on set. So like I had to adjust, you know, because previously when we film other movies, uh, during breaks, you know, everyone have our own time. But this show is really the kids, the students follow you every single way. You go toilet, they follow you. You go rest, they follow you. You go eat, they follow you. So I think it's really opening up my heart to really accept all of them into your world, you know, because you're going to spend three months together filming this thing, you know. So I think for me, it is a new experience. But I think after the show, I got to consider whether I want to have kids at such an early age or, you know, like have some time. <laughs> I 
我觉得呢，呃，荣启航呢，啊，就 Glenn 啊，他本身呢，呃，非常热爱他的工作，呃，他也很敬业。什么叫敬业？就是说我们拍戏。那么我们要去宣传什么啊？他都很强烈的配合。啊 ，Glenn 呢会把这个作品啊当成他的 baby， 不是导演的 baby， 啊，不是电影公司的 baby， 是他自己的 baby。Because 他这部电影啊，如果是受欢迎的话，他 benefit 是最多的。我以后呢都会用它来做一个 example， 跟大家讲。哇哇 ，very touch， 感动啊，领导。I think one of、uh, his quirks， but also I would say one of his greatest strengths is his improvisation。Is like magic, you know, because every time when he changes the script, you think that, hey, um, this this wasn't what we actually pre-planned, but it keeps getting better and better every single time. And honestly, I'm not sure if any other director can do what he does, you know, like to always improvise on set. To me, it's always a magical experience when、uh, we are going through the rehearsals with him because it is always through the rehearsals, not the script read, but the rehearsals on set that we get like the magic shot, that we get like the punchline that everyone loves in the cinema. So that is something that I realized about.、Jack. After working with him for the fourth time, yeah. I do have to find them, but it seems like Bieber and Shawn Lee, he has already told me very clearly he is not coming back at all. So, ah, I think it's very unfortunate, but okay, it's an experience. 那么，好像周说啊，这些哦，我们还有机会可以合作。但小胖我找不到他了，呀，我都很希望他们回来了。对我希望他们三哥都能够回来。I'll be very happy. <笑> yeah, but this time I think uh Cheryl is coming back. Now Cheryl, Cheryl is coming back. 啊，女儿，还有 Selina is coming back. 然后呢 ，Richard 啊，刘谦益也会跟我一起。林北啊，我有 continue 的林北 story。好，谢谢 ，Thank you, Thank you, Joanne, Thank you.